Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out this guy. That is a Mitsubishi's latest release uh, uh, HMI screen. This is a GOT2000 uh, screen. And we're going to be checking out today how to uh, upload, download the program, how to get uh, communications between the PLC. Look into a uh, wiring as we are going to be using uh, RS422-485 uh, connection. We'll have a look at how that wiring works, what sort of cables we're going to need and uh, things like that. We'll create probably a small little program within the PLC and sort of a, and create a small program for the HMI where we're going to be using a GD designer for it. So uh, that's what pretty much we're going to be doing today. So uh, all the manuals, everything, anything that I could be believe that would benefit you in a possible way, all that is going to be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> Here we go, so to first uh, to get started as usual we do with all of our product reviews we are quickly have a look at the how what is on the back as you can see in here we've got a uh, resistor switch this resistor switch is pretty much a switch where you can switch in between uh, yeah, if you're using different types of uh, uh, with the controllers and things like that in the manual you can read up on much resistance you need to be to be able to communicate uh, properly so uh, we're going to go through that manual in a minute uh, this part in here you can add the SD card selection for this uh, block in here so uh, oop. so here we go so right in there you can add that one in there if you want to uh, that's an option you can have. These these uh, screens come. This is the the cheaper version of. Uh, this is the cheapest of the old screens. So this is kind of like a, a proper entry level uh, screen. So uh, uh, there's additional as well to Ethernet port you can have and all other bits and like that. But this is like for the for the basic. And this one in here, this part in here, this is where where you'll be communicating with your. Uh, uh, with your PLC. And again, we're going to be selecting in our uh, GT uh, uh, GT Designer three where we uh, which controller we're going to be communicating with it and this is the older version of communicating with your a uh, uh, connecting to your pc uh, that cable is uh well i'm not going to mention this cable in this video uh, because we ain't going to be using that because uh, why would we because there's like a usb connection there and that usb connection we are going to be using to connect to the pc so and obviously you've got a power supply in there which is uh, which is at 24 volts so the cable to communicating with a uh, uh, PLC. If you look in your uh, small manual that comes with it, is that in camera? So uh, just check your uh, model. This is our model in here, as you can see, MBDS. And according to that, it gives you the sort of understanding of what cable you need to use. Once you get your cable, as you can see in here, uh, it gives you the wiring diagram for each. Uh, section so uh, once you uh, choose we are going to be uh, using uh, this this wiring diagram in here so and that would work out when you would have a you not know, this cable yes yeah, it is this cable actually it works out it's basically all you need to do it sort of uh, corresponds to the colors so just follow the colors what it tells you to do and uh, do it so uh, it looks like that that will go in yeah, he's not zooming in, sorry about that, but so here we go, once you're done, plug this in the back of your HMI screen. And which way we are in there? It's this way. And the other end, and the other end you plug into uh, the PLC. Whichever model PLC you are using, this is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt to hold it up once the USB is in. And we are just uh, going to plug that into a uh, port in our FX3S PLC for basically if we want to, a, uh, for demonstration purposes, we're going to show exactly, uh, we're not going to plug that in now, we're going to show for demonstration purposes, once we load up the program, we are going to be going from there. And obviously we will need a, a USB connector, so I have one around here somewhere on my thingies. So there you go, so we're going to plug, well, actually before we plug into the USB connector first we're going to check out our AOT, so let's, uh, let's power it up, as it power up it goes into boot mode, there we go, so we need to wait till it loads up, which might take a bit. So once it loads up, you guys are quickly run you through with the uh, utilities, uh, what is utilities, how to access them. 
So we are definitely we are going to be going doing all other different types of uh, different HMI screens. As you can see, they are already been uh, put a small program in there. But usually, when you don't have a program, in there will be nothing there to enter your tier. Just just hold the corner in here. And it will uh, let you in uh, to utilities. And in here, you can select the language in here, if whatever you want to do. Well, it looks like it's only two in there. Then there's obviously communication settings in here. You don't really need to do anything in here uh, for the basic setups. Again, depending on your uh, setups, transfer mode, channel one, channel two. Everything on default, uh, in default, should work uh, straightforward for you. So as you cannot use the, this function because we don't have it. So it's pretty much that is uh, when it comes down to a uh, uh, communication settings. And then got set up. We got in here is a display. You can opening times, screen save times, uh, brightness. If you click on it, you can adjust your brightness, whatever you want. So uh, what else you go in here? Operations. You can change your buzzer. You can completely turn it off if you want. And as soon as you will leave, it will. Uh, it will accept that command so uh, and the window move buzzer on and the key a uh, key reduction standard and we got and then obviously you play around with this so pretty much you can do all this business in here we ain't gonna touch any of this and pretty much check out all the other functions again not much in here so uh got a monitor uh, not much in here so if you need any of them this is pretty much how you access your uh, utilities apart so the next what we need to do we need to jump on a dgt designer and let's have a look at how we can download and upload the program but first before we crack on i will plug in the usb there we go and see we can somehow position it here so we can more or less see whatever we can see here yeah, we can't see much so i'll see you in the pc here we go, we are now in the front of the computer, as you can see, we have a uh, little screen there in a corner down there for us to look at it. And I will leave this link in the description below where you can access all or relate the manuals to all the GOT family uh, 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 HMIs. And if you want to go narrow down, narrow down to GOT 2000, it's sort of uh, it's going to show you the whole blown page, as you can see, there's a ton of man any manual you're going to need. And is being produced for uh, this uh, type of uh, these type of PLCs. They're all going to be in here, so uh, this is where you'll be able to find it. So I'm, rather than putting a different types of uh, manuals for it, uh, definitely check out in here which manual you need and just grab one. So that's when you where you get your manuals, and you will have that link in description below. So uh, we already have a loaded up GT Designer. So we, what we're going to do? We're going to shut this down. You don't want it. So, so as we start up a, a GT Designer. This is GT Designer 3, it's part of the uh, IQ2 package. So uh, we're going to take that one off. And what we're going to do in here, we're going to um, uh, uh, read straight from the uh, GOT. It will establish communications by itself very quickly. So as you can see, selection in there, we are doing USB. So, and, um, and we are, by the way, as you can see in here, GT21's and a GS series does not support communications via PLC. When we're going to be looking at different types of a, uh, PLCs, I'll show you how to communicate while, uh, without uh, having any hassle and bustle. To have a separate connection to your HMI, you can communicate with your uh, uh, HMI via actual PLC. And we'll get to that in some other videos. So let's test this all good down there. Successful. So and then just initiate and this is what you want to do, blah, blah, blah. Not much to, here to do. And just got read. Uh, yes, thank you. Here we go. And it's completely let in. It will open the project. And this, how you, ladies and gentlemen, have... Oh, no, I know that one. Uh, how you start up uh, basically a download of the project from your uh, God screen, and pretty much as you can see down there, this is exactly what you see in a corner there. You can see it in the actual uh, uh, screen in a, in a little video down there so what i'm going to do now is uh i'm not going to be going into the program and things like that what i'm going to do i quickly going to create the small program that would communicate with the, our, our training rig and i will show you how that works As you can see i have assigned a, a, mem a memory bit m0 to my start and memory bit m1 for my uh, uh, stop and to sort of assign the actual uh, the actual uh, what controller you're going to be using 
All you need to do is uh, go to a uh, where where is communications? No, no, common. And in here, to do to do to do where I yeah, we have controller settings. We're running under. So uh, jump on a call. If you you can do this when you set up with a new project, you can do all that at the very beginning. Again, this is not a training a video for the GT designer. It is a training video where you can back up your project. So make sure these are well are saved for you in a. a um, what it called in the future if something goes with your got if it goes, something goes wrong with your got panel so in control settings so pretty much where this is where you can select what are you going to be communicating with and there is a lot as you can see even communicate can communicate with alpha 2 we will be checking that out we'll be checking down on the inverted drives as well how to do that and so on so you even can select manufacturers to what this this specific controller can communicate with all of these not just uh, Mitsubishi products again there's a manuals uh, in uh, the manual page I showed you where you can check out each wiring each cables everything you need it is in those manuals so do check it out and how we are going to be communicating with uh, is, is RS422 slash 485 blah, blah blah on the other side so that's what we're going to be using and the driver it is an FX driver so once we've done that is happy dappy so uh now what i'm gonna do by the way once it jumps up like that you can see pretty much what reflects the actual screen itself so as uh, so you know more or less understand uh, the positioning so uh, let me quickly uh, design the program for my a uh, fx uh, s series plc and we go from there here we go ladies and gentlemen so i have created a small program that would assign uh, this m0 and m1 and to something in the plc program let me quickly uh, make you understand how this works. So, so the, the HMI screens, as they stand, they're pretty much all they do is everything you would do from the P PC, just in a very fancy way. So, like turning things bits on and off and things like that. So that all can be done from a uh, HMI. So once you download the program or you start in any pro program and you did all the connections, the ones I showed you already, as you can see in the video i have a uh, both uh, screen and the uh, hsplc uh, both are uh, communicated with a, uh, um, a usb uh, connector and i have rs485 connector going into a uh, d9 uh, pin connector in front of the plc so uh, uh, not like in olden days you used to like unplug one and do the other now you can do both at the same time and still work and as i have a uh, triple screen in here I can do a lot of uh, things uh, as I work so as you can see in this screen in here this is the program we're going to be working on as you can see my M0 and M1 M1 is my stop and M0 is my start it's basically it's a basic latched uh, program in here and I will demonstrate in and that's already transferred into the PLC and what we're going to do in here is a uh, check it out how that works in a actual uh, the in, in an actual rig so i'll be able to start with the buttons and with the screen so as soon as as soon as the the uh, bits as soon as you uh, say to the controller uh, part of the hmr the controllers fx every bit that is if you look in here by the way which you just uh, once you create your little button you just double click on it and this window will open up and this is where you can uh, assign what you're going to be doing if you're assigning a bit just click a bit and assign whatever device it is uh, they have to be a uh, internal plc devices to make sure access is not going to work so you can set in here monitor reset all then reset again this is not a training video of how to uh, work with uh, uh, the GT design it's just how to get your communications going how to pretty much get you started so in here we select m0 so that's our start so i want to oh i'm just creating a uh, something extra in there uh, we are going to a uh, delete how oh, can we delete that? Oh, there is there we go so uh, basically that's how uh, uh, you would assign uh, your bits to it so internal m bits you use for that so as you can see in this program again uh, we have a m0 and m1 and now the now as soon as the program is transferred in as the buttons from the hmr is going to be clicked it will be activating those bits so uh hopefully that gets you addressed and so once you are uh, finished with your product then you go to a uh uh, there, uh, there's little windows in here so this guy in here was the communication video um, uh, connection is the what's the blue one I think this one is yeah right in there I forgot which was blue which is not once you're happy with it just click OK and transfer uh, the your project to your god 
as you can see now in this I'll show you that in our screen in here as you will be transferring the, the uh, program you don't have to do any changes to the HMI at least these HMIs uh, he will do everything for you so as soon as the program is going in it will restart at the got the HMI and as you can see it is ready to roll so let's get to a rig and see how that works here we are now we are in the front of the PLC let me zoom in a little bit so we can see a bit better oh, the wrong way yeah, more or less like that just give you some see the belt as well a little bit here we go so as you can see I can start at the bell with still buttons in here and at the same time I can do the same with the HMI and this is how simple it is you can uh, transfer more load of all these buttons you got down here you can transfer them into your HMI and HMI can do and also there's a lot of pages you can create and everything else that comes uh, with it so that's ladies and gentlemen is how you get your GOT 2000 panel going we will definitely be looking at GOT, GOT 1000 panels as well and all different sizes this is the GT21 series this is the smaller version of it and non colored and things like that well, I definitely have a lot more other GT uh, screens in here that we are going to be checking it out. So ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to check out all the manuals and all the information you will require is going to be in the Mitsubishi uh, link I have left in the description below. Do check it out, do read it up and uh, you should be well on your way. And again, if you are looking for a uh, IQ2 software, definitely give me a shout and I should be able to help you out purchasing it. There's no freebies here, purchasing it a very good price so uh other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video smash the like subscribe and i will see you in the next video